The rapidly spreading fires that have seethed in Northern California this previous week were started deliberately and were not common blasts, as indicated by specialists who guarantee the discharge were lit by tip-top pyro criminals utilizing environmental climate weapons. These moment fires, which charred houses and autos while leaving trees and vineyards untouched, were not normal. How might you be able to perhaps get 66 individual, broadly separated out of control fires showing up immediately and developing quickly, with no regular climate causing them, with consummately quiet climate sometime recently, with sudden enormous breezes at the start of the flames, with blue starts noticeable all around, breaking down gadgets, and in a few people heart palpitations. Jim Stone clarifies. Whether weapons work by utilizing various transmitters to make a crash zone where contrastingly staged M waves offset each other, and drop their electrical potential into the air, which is, where they wipe out. This is what might as well be called biasing a transistor. Semiconductors won't just separate and begin leaving in light of the fact that a predisposition field is connected, with the goal for them to direct in a controlled manner they require a doping specialist. In silicon the doping operators are arsenic and boron. In air, the doping specialist is in all probability whatever is in the chemtrails. On the off chance that enough voltage is connected to a semiconductor, it will all of a sudden release it in one major burst. This is found noticeable all around as lightning. The climate, geoengineering frameworks endeavor to maintain a strategic distance from this. Yet, this time around, in California. The impacts of abundance voltage were promptly seen by many individuals, and it showed itself in more than one way. Obviously the general population running the geoengineering frameworks have turned out to be more strong, similar to a cheat that takes to an ever-increasing extent and that's only the tip of the iceberg, the more the hoodlum escapes with taking. The same is going on with climate fighting, and this time around in California, the impacts of the framework being used were effectively watched. 1. A few people got heart palpitations from having their bodies charged. 2. Numerous many individuals saw electrical flashes that made no thunder in superbly clear blue sky, and more awful, a few people even observed little starts wherever noticeable all around them. 3. Most damning, people are announcing that their hardware failed before the flames hit, with the most articulated and talked about glitch being at an inn where all of the electrical frameworks in the inn broke down, including the electronic access and treeways, driving individuals to hop from windows, since they couldn't leave their rooms, to get away from a moving toward flame that in a split second showed up all of a sudden and consummate climate. It is essential to make note of the breaking down in treeways, on the grounds that a straightforward power blackout won't prevent those from working. Something stuck the circuits in the entryways. At the same time the in lost principal control, generator reinforcement, UPS reinforcement, and neighborhood battery reinforcement. Not even the constantly operational crisis corridor lights worked. That would be absolutely steady with a greatly strong M weapon causing complete electronic glitch on the grounds that not even the circuits in the crisis reinforcement lighting that turn it on, which work free of everything off of a little battery right in the light itself not circuits at that little level worked. There are individuals trolling online networking, maybe on the grounds that they don't see how things function, however maybe not, and they are stating it is extremely unlikely the air could have been so electrically charged that flashes would be wherever in light of the fact that it would shock anybody remaining in it. This isn't valid in any way. Tesla demonstrated it. There are heaps of photographs of Tesla sitting on a seat with an electrical tempest surrounding him, since it doesn't take much to make a show, in respect to what the body can take, on the grounds that the body is a vastly improved channel than air. Moreover, the recurrence at which the air is charged has a major effect, once the recurrence goes past around 40 khz the body won't lead it profoundly because of an electrical impact known as the skin impact where electrical charges go out outwardly of articles as opposed to through them. All the unfathomable Tesla photographs were the consequence of super high voltage low current power going around the outside of articles because of the skin impact caused by that power likewise being at a high recurrence. So how might this begin with wind fires? The appropriate response is a simple one. 1. 
A dry leaf is thin, which wipes out the advantage of conduction by means of the skin impact, and 2. A dry leaf will endeavor to be a cover, which will drive the greater part of the power that moves through it to transform itself into warm. Furthermore, moreover, if the air is starting wherever as a few witnesses stated, one of those sparkles would presumably set off dry tinder someplace. Poof, moment fire, there ought to have been a few instances of detonating dry trees where there was no fire there before by any stretch of the imagination. Bunches of individuals are stating these flames all of a sudden burst all of a sudden, no trace of any past flame, no lightning, no nothing, only a sudden high breeze occurring in the meantime the timberland close by all of a sudden burst into flares. That would be an indication of a sudden gigantic electric field warming everything up everything that couldn't direct power extremely well, which implies air and dry leaves, there are individuals saying space-based laser frameworks are doing this, and that totally would work, so I get it, however regardless I trust they are utilizing stage cancellation of radio waves to cause a predisposition field, since whatever happened when a laser was utilized would not be effortlessly controllable and would too effectively result in the formation of enormous ionosphere to ground lightning jolts. That isn't occurring, which is the reason I am staying with the M-Wave way to deal with this. Possibly as they get more bold and not thinking about perceptible impacts, they will begin utilizing lasers, which would be a ton less demanding. All in all, how might you be able to conceivably get 66 generally dispersed enormous out-of-control fires showing up immediately with no common climate causing them, developing quickly, with superbly quiet climate some time recently? Sudden huge breezes at the start of the flames, blue starts noticeable all around, failing gadgets, and in a few people hard palpitations. My answer, simply ask DARPA.